So today is July 21st and I'm at mile 5,959 plus 116 just over the state line in Idaho getting ready to walk the Centennial Trail and I'm about to be doing this for about four or five days maybe six or seven we'll see and uh, anyways wanted to say thank you so much for picking me up last night at the Amtrak and for giving me a safe place to lay my head and dropping me off <laughs> um, the only way I'm able to do this is with all the help that I get um, so thank you thank you so much and uh, yeah now let's get this adventure started. This used to be the bridge. Hi guys, so today is July 21st and I'm at mile 5,961 here at Gateway Regional Park just over the state line in Washington. And I'm with my next challenge taker, Cody. So, uh, Cody, what made you want to come out and take on my challenge? I thank you for letting me come out on this walk as well. Right on, thank you, man. Thank you, you for coming out and taking on the challenge. You can do it too. Well, I gotta continue on. I have to go find myself a bed down spot here in a couple hours. Still got a little bit of daylight left, so I got a bit more mileage to get. In 1858, Colonel George Wright with 700 soldiers was sent from Walla Walla to suppress an Indian outbreak. After defeating the Indians in two battles, the captured 800 in, he captured 800 Indian horses to prevent the Indians from waging further warfare. He killed the horses on the bank of the river directly north of this monument. That's fucking horrible. That's sad.
now I'm looking for my bed down spot. We've done five miles since about three o'clock this afternoon. It's about one mile an hour. Yeah, going real fast, huh? But that includes all the breaks that I've taken and body's kicking my ass. That's nothing new though. So it's a matter of, yeah, let's see if I can find me a good bed down spot. Yep, let's go on up. Because right over there, I'll be able to be spotted. So I'm looking for a spot where I can be. I don't have to worry about people really seeing me unless they come down to where I am. That continues on. Right here's my spot. So today is Thursday, July 22nd, and I'm here in Liberty Lake, right along the Spokane River. This is what I'm waking up to this morning. Isn't this so beautiful? Yeah, I'm in freaking heaven. I'm in freaking heaven. Well, I gotta get packed up. But first, I need to spark up. So I'm gonna pack me up a bowl, and then I'm gonna get packed up and start making my way on. And I'm all packed up. God, I love this river. little spot something says come look Half Moon Park, right in front of me. Coeur d'Alene, 20 miles to my left. And Spokane, 17 miles this way. Ooh, but first, let's go check this out. I'm looking for a spot to sit, have breakfast, and smoke. I like shade, and I like a spot to sit. Mm, that's not a spot to sit. Nah. Nah. That's like sitting on a fucking rail.
here I am, laying right alongside the trail. My body's just totally kicking my ass. I'm just fucking exhausted. Been up since like four or five this morning, but I've only gotten about four or five, no, I've only gotten four miles done. Yeah, yeah, let me tell you, I'm fighting for each mile today. Fuck, I think I've taken about three naps so far. Uh, and this just happens to be the one that I'm actually showing. Well, <laughs> sort of. Yeah, here, let me show you where, let me show you what this looks like. So there's my pack. I'm on my pad. And this is my view. It's about 5 p.m. so in 12 hours I've made it four miles. I got some video work done now. I mean fuck if I can't move at least I can fuck around on the phone. <laughs> Shit. Uh, and the cool thing is right there's the water fountain. So uh, if I have to I can actually just uh, fuck go right down over this hill and find me a spot. Yeah, but I don't know. I think I can get up. I think I can make it at least another mile or two. If I can do two miles, then that means I can actually hit a store and get something ice cold to drink. So there's a little bit of motivation for me because that water in that fountain ain't cold at all. <laughs> oh, fuck. <sighs> all right. Well, I am smoking up. And, uh, fuck, let me just set this shit down. Y'all can join me for this smoke sesh. I'm sitting here, outside, enjoying this fucking amazing weather. And great views. Um, instead of being stuck in bed. Pot, pot helps me be able to do this. But, it's not the end-all, be-all. It doesn't, it doesn't make the pain just immediately disappear. If it did, fuck, I'd be up and fuck, I'd already done been gone. I'd already done been gone. Miles, miles. No, no. It does knock out some of the pain and it, it makes it enough that, that I can exist. It's what pot does for me. It makes it so a, my quality of life is enough that I can allow myself to exist in it. Because if I was in shit tons of pain and not able to move, my mental state would be right in the shitter. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I wouldn't be around long, cause nah, nah, nah. <laughs> but uh, thankfully I don't have to deal with that. Don't have to think about it. I got some good weed and <laughs> you know, I've created an amazing life in spite of this fucked up disease. <laughs> So, shit, you know, it might, it might take me two days to get 10 miles, but that's uh, two days I'm not stuck in bed. All right. Well, I'm going to finish this bowl up and then I'm going to make my way on. Well, it's 622 and I'm all packed up. So... Time for me to at least get at least one more mile, <laughs> hopefully. Let's see, let's see. So I just came up off the trail to uh, get a little water and uh, and get a meal and I asked about I asked about a value menu and this particular place didn't have one but I got told about like a two signature sandwich deal for six bucks or something so I grabbed that up and I grabbed an orange cream shake and some fries coming from the lobby was one of the crew members and he come up to me and he was like would you mind if I give you my employee discount? 
50% off. I'm like, uh, fuck yeah, thank you, holy shit, right on, like for real? Yeah, so, uh, fucking right on. He tells the cashier that, uh, let the manager know and have the manager put it in. So the manager comes over and I decide I want to share my story, let her know that one of her coworkers is pretty freaking awesome. And as I'm sharing the story, she's like, you know what, nah, nah, we're not giving you the discount. We're just going to comp the whole damn thing. Fuck yeah. Um, I looked at the bill. It was like $15 is what it would have been. Holy shit. I didn't know that's how much it was going to be. How much is that goddamn shake? But, um, yeah, and then they're like, hey, let's give you a water cup too. I'm like, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Now I'm all set. I'm going to head back to the trail and uh, go find myself a nice spot to bed down tonight. That's pretty neat. And can't see shit. But I can sit here. Looks like right over in there is going to be my spot. No, right down there. And it looks like I'm pretty well hidden. Nobody will be looking down here after dark anyways. Keep watching, and I'll keep showing you the magic. And on that note, and as always, guys, it's your hit. Don't make me smoke all this weed by myself. Come walk a mile with Seth. He'll show you some magic. Yes, guys, I challenge you to come out and walk one mile with me, and I will show you magic. Much love and much peace, you all.